Uh, fortunately, Isaac Kofiaje has been doing some research uh, for us uh, here at Joy News on uh, the issue of absenteeism in Parliament. Fortunately, he's joining us in studio now. Uh, Isaac, so walk us through the numbers. We know that, technically speaking, 15 straight seatings exactly. uh, of Parliament. If you miss that without uh, permission to the mm -hmm. Speaker, then it could create some problems for you. But then uh, give us the specifics on these three MPs that we know of. First, there is Kennedy Ejapon. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about him. Right, let's look at the October to December uh, you know, meeting. Mm -hmm. And then let's, look, let's start with Kennedy Ejapon. Right. So out of the 28 sittings, mm -hmm. he was present in just four. Mm -hmm. And then absent in 24 out of the 28 sittings. His longest consecutive absence without permission was 19 consecutive sittings. And this was from October 26, 2021 to November 25th, 2021. Right. Now, the next person is Sarah Adrasa for the right. same period. And she was present in two out of the 28 sittings under the, the meeting and a review. And right. then absent with permission, seven you know, out of 28 sittings. Absent without permission, 19 out of 28. And her longest consecutive absence without permission was 13 sittings. And this was from, you know, October So, so it, comparatively November. speaking, if you look at uh, an MP like uh, Sarah Jasafo, mm -hmm. uh, we could say on authority that she's in a better position as compared to some other MPs. Uh, probably this period. That's from October to, you right. know, uh, December. Right. You know, we move we to need the to be specific it, with the period. Exactly. So, so we the, don't the period is very important. So exactly. the, this, right. this meeting, mm -hmm. the October to uh, December meeting, you know, right. Parliament has three meetings every Precisely. year. Exactly. So now let's move to Henry Corte. Mm -hmm. So out of the 28 sittings in this meeting, Henry Corte was present in just five, mm -hmm. absent without permission. 23 out of the uh, 28. Right. And the longest consecutive absence without permission was also 19. Mm -hmm. Just like Kennedy and Japan, just 19. And this was from October 26 to November you know, 25, 2021. Right. And then if you should change the, the period, right. this is the January to March 2022 meeting, the first meeting of the year. Right. And so let's start with Kennedy Japan. So, 20, so, so we've moved on we've moved from, on from, from late up, last year. Exactly. And, and we're coming closer. To, to, to the period within which we find ourselves. Absolutely. Now. So right. now let's start with Kennedy Japan. So out of the 28 uh, sittings, mm -hmm. he was present in 12. That's an improvement. Right. And so he improved from the previous one. Improved from the two to now to, 12. To now 12 exactly. Seats, appearance. Exactly. Now absent 16 mm -hmm. out of 28 sittings. And his longest consecutive absence without permission in this sitting was just four sittings. Right. So the last one was 19 seconds, and now he's... So he's four. significantly improved. Exactly, in this period. And then now, Ajoa Safo. Mm -hmm. Ajoa Safo. 28 seconds. She was present. She was never present in any of the 28 seconds. So but, but that can be contested. You, you know that. Absolutely. Clearly because... Uh, but we are, we, we are dealing with... Uh, the official record. Official, exactly. We need to put that out because uh, you know there's been a lot of controversy... Absolutely. ...about what transpired in Parliament just sure. yesterday. So we picked this when, information... Uh, when the e-levy, e I should say, yeah. was being considered. Exactly. There were claims that she was marked present when... when when she was not. That, that, that's a claim so we're the, yet to verify. Mm -hmm. But we're dealing with the official figures that Exactly. Made. Verified information from straight. Parliament's own website. Right. The votes the the and proceedings, you know, uh, document. That's where we extracted this information yeah. from. So out of 28 citizens, she wasn't present in any of them. Her longest consecutive um, absence without permission, obviously, mm -hmm. is 28 citizens. Right. That was from January, you know, 25th to March 17th okay. this year. Mm -hmm. Now, if you should move to Henry Corte, out of the 28 sittings, he was present three. Absent with permission. Mm -hmm. Absent, sorry, absent without permission, 25 out of 28. Mm -hmm. And the longest consecutive absence without permission was 12. Actually, it was 12 in right. sitting. He was absent in 12. So mm -hmm. it still didn't add up to the, the 16 or 15 consecutive sittings. So, so this, the, this quarter the, that we're talking about now in Parliament, if you compare all three MPs, will bring the Greater Accra Regional Minister mm -hmm. first, yeah. ranking top on the list in terms of those who have done at least some, some exactly. you know, so some if effort should, if to should, appear in Parliament. If you start from ranking them that way. October to, uh, October to December. So, you know, Kennedy Japan and Henry Cote were all having 19, 19, you know, absence without permission. They right. were, but Adras Afo was doing somewhere around 15. Yeah. But if it should come to January this, to March this year, right. 
Then Ajoa Safo is not really doing well because she, out of the 28 sitting, she's not mm. been present, right. according to Parliament's own record. Uh, and, and we can just go to Sarah Ajoa Safo exactly. right now, uh, which you, you should be seeing here. Sure. So Clearly, zero she, out of 28. To... Pair the, 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 the information put out by Parliament's own uh, mm. votes and proceedings document they put on their websites every day. Right. So she was uh, present, zero out of 28. Mm -hmm. Henry... Um, Kennedy Japan was present. So, so Kennedy Japan was present for at least a, a number of exactly a number of days. So which, so which 12, is twelve out exactly. of twenty eight. Twelve out of twenty eight. So, so he's improved from from exactly. his performance. He was absent in just sixteen out of the right. twenty eight, and mm -hmm. then his longest consecutive absence without permission was just four. So in this period, under review, Adrasa for probably um, didn't really do well because mm -hmm. zero out of twenty eight per Parliament's um, own document. So that's how. We extracted the information, and this information is strictly from Parliament's um, votes and proceedings, not our own computation. So we just extracted the, the, the information. Uh, but but uh, just, just before we bring in our guest and those who, who will be uh, helping us do the conversation right now, uh, help us understand what the situation is generally in, in terms of the overview of MPs mm -hmm. and their level of attendance. Do, so, are we getting some clarity on whether so or not... Prior the to, yeah, so that? prior to the passage of the, the E-Levy, you could see that you know, attendance was not really... Um, it, it wasn't something that we could, we could write home about. You could see cyclical movement in terms of the number of absenteeism. It started, mm -hmm. it, was, it was on the run, like, it was kept increasing, you know, sitting by sitting. But now that the E-Levy has been passed, we, have, we are seeing some sort of improvement in terms of the number of MPs who are present in the chamber or present um, as far as the vote and proceeding document is concerned. But what we just gave you was from October. The first analysis we did was October to December. So, that was last year. And then we're doing... And then we also did January, uh, January to March, to March. 2022. Uh, and there you have it. Uh, Sarah Jasafo is the problem as we speak.